Hello, welcome to Proven Cures. Today is Saturday, December 12, 2020, and I am your host, Sarah McLeod. And today I'm going to have a small talk about fatty liver disease and a proven, not necessarily a cure for fatty liver disease, but an amelioration of the elevation of liver enzymes um, that accompany fatty liver disease in both alcoholics and people who uh, acquire the disease uh, due to obesity and, di and or diabetes. So uh, the information that I'm going to share with you, oh, before I get into that, let me say happy holidays to everyone. Um, we are nearing the end of a very uh, troublesome and miserable year for a lot of people, uh, especially due to um, having been on quor in quarantine for so long. Um, this has been a very strange holiday for a lot of us, not being able to spend it with loved ones for fear of spreading this horrible um, pandemic disease. And uh, my heart goes out to everyone watching this. Hopefully 2021 will be a better year for us. Um, we'll be able to accomplish our goals. We'll be able to uh, not just be with our friends and families, but appreciate it so much more. And um, a lot of us have lost a lot of people due to the disease as well. My condolences to all of those people um, who are suffering from loss at this time. Um, I have uh, been kind of staying under the radar, just focusing on, on my daily work. Uh, but this information came across my desk as I was doing my work. And it wasn't something that I wanted to pass up on sharing. It's really um, very beneficial information. And it's something that everyone can follow. So I'm not going to take up too much of your time. The information I'm sharing comes from someone named Dr. Sarah. She shares my first name, which is always cool. Dr. Sarah Brewer. That's B-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E she has her own website, drsarahbrewer.com. Just like that. She It's D-R Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, Brewer.com. And um, this article is under her uh, section called Diets and Health. And it is titled Artichoke for Fatty Liver Disease. And of course, my channel is dedicated to sharing uh, data uh, from clinical trials. Her article was published on January 21st, 2017. Um, and it does include data from clinical trials. It is based on data from clinical trials. And I am actually going to share that clinical trial later on um, in this video. But I kind of just want to dive right in. It's very, it's the way the article is written, it's already written for lay persons. It's already written for people who are not in the medical and scientific community. So I don't have to um, explain a lot or break things down. I'll just read as much as I can directly from the article and I'll try to go as fast as possible. So it's not to take up too much of your time. So like I said, the article is titled Artichoke for Fatty Liver Disease. And uh, I'm going to dive right in. Artichoke extracts are among the best natural remedies for fatty liver disease. According to Dr. Sarah Brewer, fatty liver disease is an increasingly common condition that affects as many as one in three adults in the United States and one in five in the UK. And she says that although some cases of fatty liver are linked with alcohol intake, most cases are in fact associated with an unhealthy diet and carrying excess weight. It is estimated that between 70 and 90% of people who are obese or who have diabetes have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, although many cases remain undiagnosed. If not recognized and addressed, however, fatty liver disease can progress to cause liver inflammation and scarring. What is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease occurs when excess fats build up in liver cells. This buildup leads to inflammation and can progress to fibrosis, cirrhosis, liver failure, and even liver cancer if it is not recognized and treated. The good news, she says, however, is that the liver is very forgiving. Even when a surgeon removes 75% of a liver lobe, it usually tries to grow back. As a result, in the early stages of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, it is the early stages, it is reversible with appropriate diet and lifestyle change. Once the liver becomes inflamed, however, the condition changes to something called 
non-alcoholic non steatohepatitis hepatitis or NASH as it is abbreviated. Levels of liver enzymes start to soar when that happens, when the inflammation occurs. When the inflammation occurs now, blood levels of two enzymes in particular um, are measured to assess the extent of liver damage. They are ALT, alanine transaminase, and AST, aspartate transaminase. Um, these enzymes are in fact released into the bloodstream when liver cells uh, rupture. ALT and AST are good markers for the extent of liver cell damage, and once these enzymes are significantly elevated, it becomes less easy for the liver to recover. Advanced NASH is notoriously difficult to treat and is the underlying reason for between 15 and 20% of liver transplants. But exciting new research suggests that globe, globe being whole, circular, artichoke extracts can help liver cells to recover and potentially reverse fatty liver disease. Artichoke extracts can even reduce, she says, elevated enzyme levels in people with NASH. What causes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease specifically? Well, she says the liver has numerous important functions, among which are the processing of dietary fats to make cholesterol and triglycerides and the conversion of glucose to glycogen. Glycogen is um, emergency fuel for the body and to more triglyceride fats for longer term energy storage. The, those are the functions of the liver. Because a fatty liver, however, is stuffed full of fat, it is easy to assume that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is linked to eating too much dietary fat, but that is not the case. In fact, the usual cause is eating too much carbs, too much carbohydrates, especially excess sugar. Carbohydrates and table sugar are broken down to release glucose and fructose, fructose. The liver uses excess glucose and fructose to make triglyceride fat in a process known as lipogenesis. Now, when liver cells are pushed, from processing lots of uh, hard push from processing lots of carbs or alcohol, they start to accumulate fat. Now, the fatty changes that occur are identical to those involved in the production of pâté de foie gras, she says, when geese and ducks are force fed carbs in France. Your liver enlarges and takes on a mottled yellow appearance. Now, how do artichoke extracts help? Globe artichoke extracts have a large volume of research to support their benefits on liver and digestive health. They are also effective at reducing cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Now, researchers have found that globe artichoke extracts also have protective effects on the liver, even when liver inflammation is present, and can reverse damage so that ALT and AST enzyme levels start to fall. In a gold standard, randomized double-blinded placebo-controlled trial. Researchers, and I'm gonna actually share that trial with you. Let me do that right now. The title of the trial can be found at pubmed.gov where I find all my trials that I share here. And the title of the trial is The Effect of Artichoke Leaf Extract on Alanine Aminotransferase and Aspartate Aminotransferase in the Patients with Non-Alcoholic Steatohepatitis. Steatohepatitis referring to an inflamed liver. Um, this study was published in 2016 in the International Journal of Hepatology, and the publishers um, seem to have, I don't know, Indian names maybe, or Pakistani names, I'm not sure. Uh, the names are Vajahe Rangbu, Mustafa Norusi, Rosa Zavashi, that looks Eastern European. Sayyid Amir Mansour Residust. That looks maybe Turkish. And Asgar Mohammed Porasso. Pura, Pura, so that's how you can actually locate the study for yourself if you're interested in doing so. But it was um, a placebo controlled trial where researchers asked 60 people with non alcoholic fatty liver plus inflammation to take either globe artichoke extracts as six tablets per day, providing 2,700 milligrams or placebo for two months. Both groups were also asked to exercise regularly, uh, regularly be meaning 20 minutes of walking five days a week and to lose weight. 
Both groups did lose a similar amount of weight during the two-month study, an average of 4.7 kilograms each. In those taking the globe artichoke extracts, however, levels of triglycerides and total cholesterol also reduced significantly. In fact, total cholesterol went from 206 milligrams per deciliter down to 182 milligrams per deciliter, and triglycerides went from 193 milligrams per deciliter down to 154 milligrams per deciliter. That's a dramatic drop. Whereas in the placebo group, uh, those who did not receive the artichoke extract, cholesterol and triglyceride levels hardly changed at all. The most exciting finding, though, was that the elevated levels of liver enzymes came right down. In fact, they virtually cut in half in those taking the globe artichoke extracts. In the treated group, the ALTs, the alanine transaminase levels, fell from an average of 81.77 milligrams per deciliter down to 38.4 milligrams per deciliter. And the AST levels, aspartate transaminase, reduced from an average of 45.53 milligrams per deciliter down to 24.6. That's huge. In comparison, the enzyme levels in those taking placebo only improved slightly as a result of their weight loss. Um, specifically, ALTs went from 74.13 to 64.07, and ASTs from 44.5 down to 39.6. Um, in addition to that information, she also offers some self-help tips for people who are suffering from fatty liver disease. She says other ways to help protect the, the liver from fatty changes include, of course, cutting back on your intake of carbohydrates, especially sugar, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, she says, at least five per day for their antioxidants, including protective polyphenols, obtaining healthy fats from olives, grape seeds, nuts, and fish oils, which don't have a major impact on the amount of cholesterol manufactured in the liver and which have anti-inflammatory effects. Of course, avoiding excess alcohol. As alcohol is poisonous, liver cells drop their normal housekeeping metabolic reactions and work overtime until the alcohol is converted to less toxic substances. Because liver enzymes are diverted from their normal tasks to metabolize alcohol, liver cells start to accumulate unprocessed globules of fat and become abnormally swollen. Even a single episode of binge drinking can change liver cell metabolism and worsen fatty degeneration. That's interesting. She, she recommends taking milk thistle seed extracts, which boost levels of a liver antioxidant known as glutathione, which protects liver cells from toxic damage. She goes on to say that milk thistle, which is, is related to globe artichoke, uh, has been shown to stimulate liver cell regeneration and reduce the formation of scar tissue. Uh, she says that taking a probiotic supplement as beneficial bacteria um, like lactobacilli and bif bifidobacteria um, digest dietary fiber to produce short chain fatty acids, fatty acids such as propionate, which have an anti inflammatory effect on the liver. She suggests drinking coffee. She says that caffeine stimulates the metabolism of lipids stored in liver cells and decreases fatty liver associated with a high-fat diet. Who oh, no. knew? Researchers from Duke University have found that consuming the equivalent caffeine intake of four cups of coffee or tea may help to prevent and slow the progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Finally, she says that ensuring a good intake of magnesium and B vitamins, which are needed for optimum liver function. And that concludes uh, this information for this um, video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, please like, share, and of course, leave comments. I would love to hear what you have to say about uh, fatty liver disease. Um, and if you found this information to be possibly helpful for you. Um, uh, thank you f to all my loyal subscribers who always tune in no matter how long I take to post between videos. And uh, a special welcome to people who may have just found me here. I, um, whenever I, I am a clinical researcher, I'm also a medical writer. Whenever I uh, encounter information uh, in my work, in my daily work, because I'm always reviewing scientific publications, that I, and if I find information that I think may be helpful to you, especially in terms of being able to acquire the um, treatment for yourselves 
online or in a grocery store or something like that. I really try to rush and share the information. That is why there's often such a lag between my videos because the information is not always readily available. <laughs> Unless someone comes to me and says, Sarah, could you please look for this or could you look for that? I may not necessarily be looking for anything. I wasn't looking for this. I just happened to encounter it because of a, a report I'm doing for work. So, um, yeah, uh, subscribe because, like I said, whenever I find something that's unusual, but especially helpful to the general public, I make it my business to share no matter what. So even if you're thinking, oh, well, uh, I just have this problem and this is the only thing I need to know about, uh, you never know what information I may, may find that may not just be helpful to you, but be helpful to people in your life. Um, okay. So once again, happy holidays, if, if it can be happy for you and, um, stay blessed. Bye-bye.